Who are you? I, Gavlan. Gavlan will, Gavlan deal. Gavlan wants soul. Many, many souls. <laughs> What you want. With Gavlan, you will, you deal. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, hope you enjoyed Gavlan. Uh, he's one of my favorite characters in Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Absolutely love his uh, dialogue and uh, just, I think he's hilarious. Uh, so we're going to wheel and deal with Gavilon here. Uh, I'm just going to sell everything that I don't actually need. And I'm going to buy the 20 poison arrows that he sells. Poison arrows are actually going to be a very, very big deal for us uh, in terms of being able to do damage. Uh, because for any of the bosses that you can actually poison, if you need to stay away from them while you're... Uh, evading attacks and stuff like that, letting your stamina recharge or whatever. Uh, you're definitely going to need to keep that damage uh, going. And uh, poison is really, really good for that. Uh, especially when you talk about fights like this where you have the water coming in and filling up the arena, uh, slowing your movement. Uh, at some point, I wouldn't be able to roll like this and it would be extremely difficult for me to dodge some of these incoming attacks. So... With the poison damage, it just gives me that uh, extra little bit of an edge uh, while still being able to do some damage with the actual poison arrows themselves when they hit. Uh, not quite as much as the iron arrows that I'm using, but, you know, it's still enough to make a difference. Uh, this actually ended up being a pretty decent fight. Uh, one of the first fights I ever did with a bow uh, was this one, actually. And you can see that poison putting in that work there. Unfortunately, the next boss is one that you cannot poison at all. So what I did was I bought a Bright Bug, uh, got myself soaked in water, and did the Infinite Bright Bug glitch. Uh, now, if you're unfamiliar with that glitch, what it is is basically any time that you are soaked in water uh, in this game, if you use a Bright Bug and then quit out and go back into your game, uh, you will have that Bright Bug on you until you die or you warp to another bonfire. Uh, and it is extremely helpful in at least two or three situations in this particular run, uh, this being one of them. Uh, you have three Skeleton Lords here. And what they'll do is, after you kill one of them, they will spawn a bunch of other skeletons. This fight is really, really annoying with a bow. Uh, I am not doing anywhere near the amount of damage that I would be doing with any other kind of weapon. So, not only do I have to keep uh, reversing and uh, healing and trying to get away from these guys, uh, but it just... It, it's just a big mess, <laughs> especially when uh, one of the ones that you have targeted and you're actually doing damage to falls behind one of the other ones and uh, you have to move your target uh, to try to get you know any kind of attack on. Um, I haven't found a really, really good way to actually do this fight uh, consistently, uh, aside from doing what I'm doing now, which is just running away and shooting whenever I can. Uh, the other two Skeleton Lords, uh, they will shoot fire at you, uh, like that one just did, and uh, they will chase you around the room as well. And the reason I'm not killing all of the Skeleton Lords at once is because there's one that will actually spawn two of the Bone Wheel Skeletons, and they're really nerfed from what they were in Dark Souls 1, but they can still be quite annoying. So once I take care of the large amount of skeletons that uh, show up from killing one, uh, you just kill the other one, take care of the other skeletons, and then uh, you know take care of the third one, take care of whatever's left over. 
Uh, real quick note about the music. Uh, it just kind of stopped there and restarted. Um, I recorded this thing without music because uh, I didn't know exactly how I was going to edit it down. Uh, I didn't know if I was going to put my own music over it or if I was going to uh, just, you know, put the game music over it and uh, be able to level it out a little bit easier with the uh, with the sound effects and my voice and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I couldn't find a track online that was long enough uh, to go throughout the entire fight, so I just ended up having to repeat it. Uh, you'll hear that a few times during the run. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I, I'm not 100% great at editing music together to make it repeatable. Uh, not at this point. So, uh, we're just going to have to make do with uh, what we have. Uh, so, one of the best things about the Bright Bug glitch, uh, of course, is you know being able to use it uh, infinitely, of course, and not having to reapply it during the fight. Uh, but you also take less damage uh, from anything that hits you. And that is actually really helpful in a lot of these fights as well. Uh, given that I use this armor throughout the entire run, I don't upgrade or anything like that. Uh, there may be, I think during the DLC actually, uh, let me correct myself, uh, I may be using different armor at some point during that, or maybe even at some point during the main game. But it's not much, because I keep wanting to get as many souls that I, as I can. Uh, you have to buy a lot of arrows uh, doing this run. Uh, so the more souls that you can get, the better. And this is exactly why you don't want to kill all three Skeleton Lords at the same time. Uh, I mean, maybe maybe I will try it one time where I just kill the two of them uh, that spawns the large group of Skeletons. But um, I just find it easier to do it this way. Uh, if I eventually find, up, find another way uh, to do this, if I ever do this run again, uh, maybe I will try. Uh, different strategies with this, but for right now, this is uh, really the only thing that I've found that works for me. Um, I, I have, uh, I don't know if I would ever do an all bosses run of this again. Uh, there are some, there are some bosses in this game that just, oh man, they're a pain in the ass with the bow, and uh, I will talk about them when I get to them. Uh, but that's really all I can say about this fight. Um, my one criticism of Dark Souls 2 has always been uh, that their version of difficulty is just let's throw more enemies into every single thing that we can throw them into and that means it's more difficult. Um, yeah, it means it's more difficult, but it also means that it's just a little bit more annoying. And as we come to a close here in this boss fight, I just want to say that the Skeleton Lord theme is an absolute fucking banger. Uh, this is a really good track. Uh, probably one of my favorites from Dark Souls 2. Um, I think Dark Souls 2 in general has uh, really good music. And uh, it's been nice putting the music over these again and uh, listening to them as I'm doing them again. Um, really, really good music all around. And here we go with Jabba the Hutt. Uh, Covetous Demon. Uh, very easy boss I don't think that you can really make this boss hard though I will say you can definitely be caught off guard with him if you uh, happen to get caught by one of his moves he can cause a lot of damage to you depending on your build Uh, I started off trying to actually poison him because I know that he can be poisoned, but it actually takes a long time for him to uh, actually pick up the poison status, so I just kind of abandoned that pretty quickly. And I wanted to do the thing where uh, you uh, knock somebody off of the ceiling up there, and he actually feeds on them, allowing you to just take pot shots at him. Uh, not that you really need to do that, uh, I just think it's funny. Uh, that that was included as something in his fight. Uh, very fitting for his lore and, you know, everything he is. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's that fight. So at this point, I wanted to 
go and level up a little bit and I wanted to show what my stats were. Uh, I ended up getting 40 decks at this point and then uh, started concentrating towards my stamina uh, so that I could try to get at least one more shot off. And uh, we're going to go fight Mytha now. So if you notice, I don't have the Bright Bug uh, status on anymore. Uh, that is because um, I actually ended up dying. Uh, if I hadn't died to one of the mannequins in this level, I would have just kept going to Mytha and uh, fought her with the Bright Bug going and not actually gone and leveled up. Uh, but this area in particular was a real pain in the ass to get through with the bow. Uh, the mannequins kind of coming out of nowhere, the guys who pretty much always hide behind their shields. A uh, lot of really annoying enemies for fighting it ranged with this thing. Mytha herself is not too bad though. Uh, she pretty much just tries to stab you with her spear all the time. Uh, she does have a rare attack that she'll try to do. That right there. Uh, I don't really see that very often. Um, but I guess if you get behind her enough times, she'll actually try to do it. I will admit at first, this was a little bit difficult to learn at ranged. Uh, seeing as how I normally play this game with the rapier or with a weapon that I have to be up close with. Uh, so figuring out the timings for uh, her spear stab and uh, watching out for that uh, tail swipe that she does again there. Uh, that that took a little bit to to learn on my first couple of bow runs uh, when I fought her. Uh, but really, it's it's mostly just kind of circling around to the right and trying to avoid her attacks and trying to get in shots whenever you can. Uh, I always try to keep her in the center of the room and not let her go to the sides because of course she can heal although that doesn't really ever tend to be too big of an issue even if she does it's not like she heals a whole lot but yeah that's mytha um this is gonna be the end of the video so i will see you in the next one uh, take care everyone and i hope you have a great day